Hey, you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play York News House 4, Imperial Italy. And we are still in this war that Burgundy started against France. And I don't really care who wins or loses the main war in there, but I'm hoping to get enough personal war score with France that it can give, us, to give me just one province. Just a way for a thin province. Uh, Savoy would be the best, certainly. But I will accept uh, Coney perfectly fine. So we're going to move some extra people in here. It helps, and actually they'll have a leader. Speaking of leaders, I should just equip a couple of these random stacks with leaders so that they can bring them over. Border tension. I get another claim! This time on Dauphiné, which, um, Coney's worth a little bit more. And, and it comes with a fort, too. Which isn't actually bad, because PMO doesn't have a fort. Yeah, that's handy. And, of course, we know the whole uh, military tradition thing now. Okay. You over here, that's uh, way too much attrition. We're going to split your infantry in half. That is a very awkward path. Tell you what, why don't you just hide here? I'm actually going to grab a little bit more of the infantry that's left and go there. Just wait. This fort's about to pop, at which point we'll have a lot more freedom of movement. Oh, we don't have a blockade going on over here anymore, so I would like to do that. Um, I... No, there is a fleet, right, because England's in on the other side. Let me bring all my ships over to here. Oh, it's outside my supply range. Ooh, by quite a bit. Uh, no, all right, never mind. Do that. Anyway, do a few more blockades, because I do get personal war score for that. Um, some of you will still do the Venetian trade node. And actually, this big one that's moving. No, wait. Alright. Split in half. Split. 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 Go. And... Oh, there's nothing to blockade there at all, actually. Okay, so the group that's left, detach blockade. Did it go? Detach. There we are. And patrol Venice. Okay, good enough. <clears throat> So, if we get lucky, it'll go on this tick. And yeah, we're only getting attrition due to the siege. So we're not overstacked. And I don't want to bring that stack down any smaller than it is there. You gotta worry about sorties. Where's the French army? Up here. Burgundy's not too far. It is currently in a mostly defeated state. Ooh, you might be coming for me. So let's go ahead and move. Actually, at the quickest rate over here. Um, to discourage them from attacking me. Because we might actually lose that way too quickly. There, there's just one cannon there. Uh, ooh, you might be jumping on Burgundy. And there are some other friendly forces around. Well, you definitely are, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's reinforce. And actually help them win. I'm going to wait for this to actually complete before I move anyone. I don't want to, like, lose any cannons. Uh, okay, or maybe, um, maybe we won't. Holy crap. France is still a dangerous beast. Come on, finish the siege, finish the siege. They don't have any morale right now. Yes, there we go. That's what we're looking for. And then let's just go for some of these easy provinces there. Man, how come I'm moving that way? Why wouldn't you move directly? There are no forts here. You should be able to move directly from here to there. Did you already have a movement clued in? No. How bizarre is that? Is that really shorter? Really? You're gonna go to Nevers and probably just de-siege that. Which is fine. They might be going to try to jump on this army over here. Janissaries. Oh, they are. Well, actually, use the force march. Yeah, they're definitely going in.
And again, use the Force March. Well, no sense in bringing you along. True, so the Platinet has ended. Okay, stats are a lot better with... Um, with it says Austria is the leader, but it's got the Castilian flag. Confused, but whatever. Um, the stats are much better. Oh, we'll march on, fr on uh, Paris after this, actually. Let's go straight there so that we are guaranteed to be the siege leader. That's going to be huge. Okay, limousine. And what's my... Oh, yeah, I need more troops. And build a couple of this template. Get to squish some French troops there. Again, I won't gain any personal war score from that. But it's still nice to do. And anything that lowers their war enthusiasm will help convince them that they should peace out with me. Um, I set you to no leader, so that we'll have one with Siege. We'll group everyone together. And we'll move the whole shebang over here. That... Oh no, they didn't get stack wiped. I'll move the whole shebang, and then we're going to figure out where we might want to go. Because I don't... I wonder where uh, these French troops might go. They might actually be deciding to stop in Paris. No, they're going to keep going. They'll probably go to Normandy. I don't think I can jump on them. Now, right now, all the troops that are here are mine. And enemy troops, which is fine. So, I can... Actually, I think I'm going to have to leave these guys all together. Which sucks. Although we're not above the force limit. I mean, it's more troops standing in enemy territory being attritioned. But that's not so bad. Also, let's go ahead and start getting some mercs. Um, merc cannons. And then one near the front. Oops. That sucked. Okay, still just the 1%. It is a big stack, being attritioned. I mean, I'm losing 400 men every month. But hey, that's a price I'm willing to pay with their lives. They're going to go and kill that, which is nice. I might have to reinforce over there, although there's lots of friendly troops buzzing around. So I'm feeling okay about that. Actually, tell you what, why don't you go and capture this stuff down here? Oh, they might be coming over here. And actually, all those friendly troops I was talking about seem to have decided to leave. I don't have much siege project progress there, though. So you know what? Let's just book it. Let's go down over here. No sense in getting myself killed over a siege that has no real progress. You're going to get out of there in time, right? Yep. Although, you're going to have to force march once we get to the next province. Stop. Force. Go. And actually... Let's meet in the mountains instead. France! Ooh, you are willing. Any chance you'd give me Savoy? You would! Now, I don't have a claim on Savoy. So I'd get quite a bit more of our extension. However, it's a much stronger province. Um, it's worth a lot more points. Like... It's it's more developed. Obviously, that'll make it more expensive to core and everything, but I should do that. Alternatively, maybe I could take two provinces I have claims on. Ooh, really? Very close. Tell you what, I'll, um, I will do that. I will just wait for a little bit more progress of some kind. Oh, shit. Seriously? Retreat, 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 retreat. I was force marching. Well, they probably started force marching as well. Hostile fort. What hostile fort? Well, this just did. Just make your way over there. At least we'll be adjacent to some troops. So, did that? No. See, that doesn't personally cost me any war score, which is amazing. With this peace deal, it's still length of war. Demands exceed war score. France holds Paris. But length of war will continue to tick away, at which point they will become more and more likely to want to give in. Supply shortage. 
All right. Uh, all right. Hopefully you don't desiege that. That would be annoying. Do I have any extra cannons kicking around yet? That's a cannon. Are there any here? No. Uh, there's one. Cannons. There's, that's not mine. That is mine. There we go. Because i got to get up to 15 cannons, which actually means I need to get another mercenary cannon. Because I want to get the maximum bonus here. I do have a siege guy. Too bad I only have a siege guy level 1. That's alright. That's not really going to do anything. Steel is still buzzing around. I'll also get a few more points by sieging some extra stuff around here, of course. And that's not the end of the world. They actually can't even take it back. You're just sitting... Oh, there's another cannon there. There we go. I know I don't have to siege with anything quite this big. Part of it was paranoia there. Ravensburg is separate pieced out. Pure liberation. Oh, Austria, did you eat Ravensburg? That's awkward. So much for making them a free city. I don't particularly want to go to war with Austria yet. Because right now they're a good ally. Uh, you might jump in there. How close are we? Yes! You know what? I don't see any reason. Money, all kinds of things would be really good. Uh, but right now, I'm perfectly happy to stop taking attrition and take two extra provinces. Bam. Should actually check to see if anyone would uh, join in a, a coalition against me from that. Hopefully not. I have too few rivals. I uh, will rival Scandinavia. They've rivaled me. Although, oh, Naples would be a hell of a lot easier. You know what? Let's take Naples. Because we can probably just take a bunch of their stuff. Now, did we get some power projection for taking land from France? Yeah. Really good. Okay, let's um, let's bring everyone together, say in a in a high supply province over here, and then we'll reorganize at that point. Probably get rid of some mercs. Let's go ahead and get some cores going on. Pretty pricey. It'd be nice if this pop up only came up if you had a core, if you had a province lacking a core, and you had the points for it. Like you could core something. Oh. Apparently, I cannot have Naples. These two will come, but for now, we'll just take Scandinavia. Because right now, that part of my alliance web, it's really important to have that sort of thing going on. So we'll do our best. Okay. Well, a little nice successful war there. We did increase our territory. Um, oh, yeah. Do I own anything? And I think the answer is yes. That's not part of the HRE. Is this HRE? Yes, it is. So it's just these two. Oh, Treviso. Treviso is not owned by me. That's right, it's Milanese. Okay. So I think all the provinces I actually own are part of the HRE. Um, oh, we're down to minus 10. Oh yeah, we did lose Ravensburg. Damn it. Yeah, at some point I will have to war against Austria and force them to release as many people as possible. But they're my ally for now. I'll feel so much better after we've got the Catholic thing going on. All right. Let these guys come in. Group them up. That way they get the uh, maneuver bonus so that they don't get quite as much attrition. Here, do that one. Ooh, I don't want to lose mercantilism. And just keep grouping them so that they're actually in the stack that's got it. Okay, and then we can split you in half and get a nicely balanced set of uh, military stacks. And then we'll see where our deficiencies are. Oh, uh, and I think I can get rid of the mercenaries. No... Oops. Detach the mercs and cancel you. Looks like we do have to build a fair number of cannons. Feels like I've got a lot of infantry now. Not enough cannonage. No, certainly not. So we'll slowly start to build them up. I don't have unlimited manpower, but we're okay. We're currently losing money, probably because we're mostly reinforcing. Oh, I do still have mercs. It's... There we go. Okay, and what about now? 
No mercs, no reinforcements. I can bring down my army maintenance. I'm very tempted to bring down that fort maintenance. We've got, what, 13, 14 fortresses. So we could save 7 gold per month. That's a lot of money. But, you know, I don't know. It is nice to get that tradition. I mean, it's just offsetting our loss, really. But I guess we'll have to go with that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to spend any money. Again, I don't have that much manpower, and if a really crazy league war of some kind does break out, we're going to need to be able to um, buy mercs. Although, with the true setup, I don't I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're probably just going to cruise to, like, the hard-coded date of, what, no religious war happened? I guess Catholic's the thing we're all going to be. Deal with it. More cannons. All right. Truces will expire. Now, I should actually check. Who do I have CBs against? Austria, yes. I do have Milan. Milan, who are you allied with? No one terribly... Re oh, Regents Council. All right, not for much longer. We'll have to see um, in that time if we might be able to get some people to come on the side. It would be very nice to just swallow them up. I could even uh, just puppet them at first. Yeah, because they're already Catholic and everything. M might be fine to do that. Just uh, puppet them and then diplo vassalize. Uh, they wouldn't hate me forever, actually. We'd probably be able to diplo vassalize them relatively well. Looks like France is mostly being defeated now. Still has a negative war score, despite the fact that um, I pieced out, taking most of my war score with it, or all of my war score with it. Short of my battles. Oh, my fleet. Um, let's group everything up into one big fleet again, because it's much safer to do it that way. And the Genoan trade note is still worth more. Yes, it is. Uh, unless I just... How much do I have? No, okay, I don't have enough of a percentage there. And actually, even the one in Venice is going to drop once I do this. Anyway, I'll split you in half. And I'll send you to Genoa. And then, where am I transferring trade from? Oh, yeah, I need more merchants. That's right. Um, I think I have to move the merchants out of here. That is transferring quite a bit of money, though. That is a lot of money. And if I just put one in Alexandria or Aleppo, there's no guarantee... Because it's me in Naples, and I'm assuming most of it is probably coming from me, as opposed to Naples. Yeah, which is... Well, it's pretty similar. I think I'll leave it there. So yeah, the second navy can protect trade in Venice, maybe. And there's a bit of a diminishing returns with your, um, with your trade power, so putting everything in one node doesn't always help out that much. This all, I think, will take until the end of the month, maybe, to reset. Or maybe the ships just have to get there. But I do want to build a trade fleet. I do want to get trade ideas, which actually I think I've already unlocked. Right? Yes. I unlocked them because it was like, no, I'm going to do this no matter what. We're going to do it even though I haven't finished. Actually, all my Diplo ideas are done. My Diplotech is still a bit behind. And I certainly will want to get the next level because trade efficiency is really quite nice to grab. Um, on the other hand, there's something we said about rushing to get those extra merchants. We'll see how it goes. Uh, still can't core that, right? I guess I can just click there. 162. Very soon. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down. I'm going to grab, like, five infantry. I'm going to set up a whole new army over there. Same thing here. I'll bring the front line of infantry down to about 15. And then try to get, like, ten cannons in each one of these. So, one, two, three, like that. Go. What? Oh, oh, you still have the lock. Right, because my morale is set so low. Of course, my maintenance is set so low. That's fair. Do -do. So, let's set one cannon in there. There we go. Now they'll move one, two, three in there. And the extra cannons will go into the new army that's being formed up. Uh, we could probably use some more cav as well. Yeah, I think bringing these up to like four cavalry each would also be very helpful. One, two, one, two. So close. Oh, actually went down. Let me 
make sure the leaders are assigned. Okay, and so we want five more cannons. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll build a cavalry right in there. One, two, three. And that needs six infantry, which actually we do have the manpower for. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, oops, that's going to put me over my force limit. Let's cancel a couple of cannons as well. There we go. Ten new constructions. Okay. Uh, money going down. Them forts. Oh, it doesn't help that I do have a level 3 military advisor, of course. But hey, we're not ahead of time. Getting that extra supply limit would be nice. And I still have not finished quantity ideas. I'll think of quality ideas as well, I think. I think that'll be another good pairing. Does quality still give you a boost to your navy? Ship durability, ship morale, less attrition. Attrition doesn't matter as much, but the others are nice. Actually, hold on. These quality ideas have quite a bit that doesn't actually help that much. Infantry ability is really good, though. Art yeah, everything will get plus 10 strength, the extra discipline bonus. And I do have the, the more infantry combat ability anyway. Yeah, I think I'll probably end up going quality ideas. But not for a little while yet. Uh, oh, course. Boom. There we go. War exhaustion. Well, it's going down on its own. Inflation is fine. Techs are techifying. Regency Council is regencying. All right. Well, I think we're going to put a cut in here. When we come back next time, we will consider maybe declare war on Milan. Again, not a ton of manpower. It'll depend on exactly what the, the alliance web looks like. So we'll play that one, as I always say, by ear. And just, you know, make a decision at that point. It would be nice to deal with the Milan, but at the same time, we have other things that we have to be a bit concerned about. How's the trade? Yeah, that's pretty decent. Oh, there we go. Is it 15? Oh, it's 15. I thought... I keep getting confused as to whether it's CK2 that's 15 or EU4 that's 16. For some reason, I thought it was 16 here and 15 in CK2, but apparently it's the other way around. Um, so just out of curiosity... Ooh, Austria would jump in on this. I should probably just let the manpower charge up. Although, squishing these guys would take two seconds flat. Well, we'll see. We'll make a decision next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.